I'm scared to wear hijab in the USA place where I live because I do not want to get spotted to any further harassment like bad intention men or women and hurt me. I am also very like small in size kind of person. Please advise me on hijab. Is this munafik which I am doing or should I still do it? Okay, I will answer you, inshallah. Nadia from the U.S. says that she said a long story. And as a piece of advice to Fadia and all the other questioners, when you ask a question, ask what is related or say what is related to the question. So her having a vitelgo on her skin, her parents uh, abducting her or, or, or locking her up, uh, giving her to a bad husband and having a divorce and having a son. All of these are not related to the question. The question is simply, I live in the U.S. and I'm afraid of wearing the hijab. So is there any advice? The answer would be, who is the one who mandated the hijab? It's Allah. And Allah Azza wa Jal, as we know, his knowledge is unlike any. So he knows the past, he knows the present, and he knows the future. So when he revealed his religion and perfected it and accepted it and approved it to be our religion, Islam, he knew what would happen in the future. And this is why Islam is the perfect religion that fits and suits all eras and all locations. So it is not possible that we come and find a defect in Islam or to say that hijab is not possible in America or in Europe or in China or in anywhere. Hijab is hijab. There is a number of rules that would give you concessions if there are necessities that are graded as real necessities. Someone is putting a gun to your head. Do you take off the hijab or not? Definitely you do that. If not, take something else as well. This is a necessity. This is life and death. Now, your fear, is it genuine or not? Your fear of wearing the hijab, being afraid of harassment or abuse or whatever, it's not legitimate at all. All Muslim women with the grace of Allah in Europe, in America, el elsewhere, they are abiding by their hijab and they're going on there, minding their own business and nobody is coming to them. Yes, if there is maybe an incident in a million, there are million incidents in happening to women who are not abiding by the hijab, who are even wearing miniskirts. So did this save them? No. So you have to trust Allah. You have to depend on Allah. All of this time you've been depending on yourself, on your power, on your job, on your ability to earn, but you lack the dependence, reliance, and trust in Allah Azza wa Jal. Do what He wants you to do, and He will take care of you with the grace of Allah.